Hey, good Fox here. Today we have Pig Iron to Steel Splendor, where we try to take our Bronze Steeler Squad, upgrade them uh, based on objectives in the description to an All Elite slash Steel Splendor Squad. So here is the offense doing pretty good, except for you know left tackle still a little gold. Uh, we had to move center out to right tackle, uh, but yeah, defense is looking a little bit more stout, except for in the secondary a little bit. Uh, but then again, the Steelers of late don't have a great secondary. If we only can get Mel Blunt in this game. Uh, the sponsor today is Alphabet Soup and massive valve movements that you would have after eating it. So, uh, my defensive line solid. Unfortunately, you know, if this is the Steelers of the 70s, where we had the 4-3 defense, I could use those two defensive tackles. But right now, only me and Joe right there. Stick it in the middle. You just saw the special teams there quick because special team players aren't people as we just return this kick here. We get Archer off the edge. Juke in. <sighs> Spin away, spin through, and just when I was insulting him, saying he wasn't a person, he breaks through, and nobody's catching 97 speed silver stud. Dree Archer. Nice. Getting on the board right away. That's a pretty big deal. Pretty big deal. So he takes a shot play right away. Deep one-on-one -on -one coverage, and let's knock it down. Oh, Mike Mitchell cannot get his hands on there. The uh, ball for the interception there. Once again, he rolls out right. Chucks it deep. It already burns. No! That's ours, says Artie. Uh, so this guy, not having a good game. His aggressive catch isn't working. His kick coverage isn't working. His run uh, stuffing isn't working. We, um, look, look, Mr. D'Angelo Williams is, um, you know, running fairly well. Fairly well. He's a, I don't know what it's about a player, but I'll, wow. Uh, he's trying to strip through the ball there and it doesn't work because D'Angelo falls forward. I don't know if he's running some sort of, like, uh, didn't look like a looping blitz there because it didn't get through. Uh, but his guys are definitely running around and we're off the edge. D'Angelo Williams, player model, just... Makes touchdowns, just breaks tackles and gets touchdowns. So here we are, a little bit of a wide formation here because he went kind of deep. So we went two men under. Let's chuck it deep. He's off the back foot, and this is ours. Thank you. Shamarco Thomas, Sharknado, gets the interception. So yeah, his chuck it deep offense isn't really working for him this time. Surprisingly enough, as much as we complain about Madden and the aggressive catch, uh, doesn't really work for this opponent, a mob, MOB with the Redskins. But then again, not much for the Redskins works. Of late, you know, traditionally they're very run heavy, good hog offense, but when you just chuck it deep every time, the defense can tend to adjust. So it's off the edge with Dree. Takes a nice little stick there, but doesn't fumble. Dree, I don't know. I, I really hope he's in the game next year. I'm just disappointed he's not on the Steelers, you know. The Steelers theme squad won't be as good without a speedy, speedy running back. Well, there we got LeGarrette Blount. Although I, I would be able to put him on the team next year if he is in the NFL, if a team takes it. There's D'Angelo Williams breaking the first tackle again, falling forward there. So we're starting the second. Quarter, uh, there's Mr. Bell, slow Bell, unfortunately. How, how It's really dirty how they did a speed in Madden. Uh, there's D'Angelo Williams, of course. He always makes it through, but that uh, the opponent had enough there. So the rage quit. We will get two picks here for the rage quit. So we're going to just scroll down, see who's all. Roethlisberger, the 99. Um, I, I don't know who I'm going to pick between the 99 Roethlisberger and Vic if I ever, ever end up pulling that Roethlisberger. Uh, pick a random name, 97 LeGarrette Blanc. Okay, so we got another solid running back, not of the greatest speed. His throwback card picked it up, 91 speed. Of course, it's on the lower end of it, but, you know, 98 trucking is always great. Ball carry vision, 95 solid. Carrying 97, you know, but fumbles just happen. They seem to happen randomly. D'Angelo Williams, a little bit faster, but the trucking, 98 versus 93 elusiveness. That D'Angelo, for some reason, is able to elude guys pretty easily. And, of course, Le'Veon Bell is terrible. So the 97, um, this big upgrade over is 83, but surprisingly enough, only one in the trucking. He went up 14 points in overall, but only one trucking. So he's really not tremendously faster, of course, but not tremendously better. Velasco, that was a mistake uh, because I already pulled a 75 card or something like that. So I had to, I had to repick after this. So I just went back and I picked Keenan Lewis, 77. Okay, uh, a secondary player, slow. But then again, you know, at 77 overall, there aren't many fast guys at the beginning of the game at a base stat. So let's compare. Not better than Burns. Not better than Blake. Um, he's got an argument for Gay for speed. But McCain, I think, is still better than him. 90 speed versus 85 is very significant. Especially, as you saw with my opponents, wanted to just chuck it deep every single time. And having somebody that can run with that deep ball is very important. So let's pick it off to the next, kick it off to the next game, pick it off. Let's hopefully we get some picks in this next game here as we kick it out of the back of the end zone. Getting into the first play of the game. Looks like he wants to run inside zone, so I shifted my line. Unfortunately, my user got caught on the line, but the rest of my defense. Nice pursuit. Nice defense. 
Um, again, inside zone, and we shut her down that time with the user. Shazier coming through with tackle in the backfield, coming on the hurry up offense. She'll chuck it four deep. We got four deep with him. Uh, he chucks it deep, and Artie Burns says, Nip, yep, that's mine. So Artie Burns back to back, opening drive picks. Playing really well after kind of getting blown out the what first time we played against him or played with him. He was just getting just smacked. Smacked by my opponents. Like aggressive catch all day. So he's playing a little bit better now. Le'Veon Bell with a third down reception. That is his specialty is catching the ball. I mean, really, Le'Veon Bell does well every uh, in everything in the game. Uh, Ladarius Green there. Speed monster. He's as much of a speed monster as a cookie monster as a cookie monster. That doesn't make sense. But anyways, let's just fall forward, Blount. Blunt is our number one running back, I think, now because of, you know, trucking. Boom! Blount said, meet my shoulder pad and then meet the green grass. Oh, D'Angelo Williams. Stuck by two guys. A little short. Second and goal. Can we get it? Keep it on the ground. Oh, fall forward into the end zone. There he is for six points. So we get the ball. Uh, he gets the ball back on defense. Runs a little bit of switch routes there. Throws it deep. Chucks it deep. And, yeah. Two on one. It, you know, that's our weakness on this team. That is our weakness. There it is again to the out route, but oh my god, we laid the hit. Holy crackers. So he runs the four verts. We ran a little bit of, I guess it was a four-man rush, wasn't it? And uh, he just running deep again. So we got a user here. User! Nice way to interfere with him. You know, if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying, right? So he's going to chuck it deep once again. One-on-one -on -one out of the end zone. We still pick it off, though. But it is our ball again. So our opponent's... We tend to find, you know, the guys that are throwing it deep, which is okay. I'm fine with the guys that chuck it deep every play because it's pretty easy to defend. You know, it gets frustrating, you know, to catch one. But usually they'll, we'll end up playing two men under and, and are able to stop them with some pressure there. Um, who knows? But, like, right there. He had to use it to cover the flat route, but he couldn't cover the corner route because Antonio Brown eats the corners up. Dude eats them. Ladarius Green on the fullback dive out of the split close. Love that. Love that play. I uh, wish I had a better runner there. There we go. My, underneath some muffling Mike. And uh, scores a touchdown. Basically, our low-constitution opponent, you know, the ones that just chuck it deep, quit pretty early. So, another rage quit. And we get another two picks for the Pig Air team as we just move on up. So, here we are scrolling through the players again. Doing a little bit of fan of white here. Take a look. Take a look. Will Allen, 82. Okay, this is this Easter Will Allen. If anybody has this Easter Will Allen, I'll pay you 10 k for him. Unable to find him on the block. Please, somebody post him. I would like to pick him up if you have him. Please do it. 87 Ben Roethlisberger. We finally got a backup quarterback for Mr. Vic and somebody that can actually hit the broadside of a barn with a pass. So his, st his stats, you know, are actually still pretty crappy. Comparing him to Boss Vic, this Roethlisberger hopefully will not have to touch the field because uh, 86 short, 89 medium. Like his best stat, 89 medium, is still worse than Michael Vick's worst stat, 92 medium. So, um,. Yeah, hopefully we'll stick with Vic. But anyway, so that wasn't really much of an upgrade because one guy is not on the auction house and the other guy is just a backup quarterback. And backup quarterbacks, hopefully, never touch the field. Again, we got another opponent, Chicago this time. His his name in the upper right corner, um, I'm not going to say it. I, that's not bad. Crazy Mexican? That's not bad. Okay, I can say it. Crazy Mexican. All right, run some, run some deep route, switch route, rolls out quarterback. And he's going to chuck it deep to the switch, but we got like three guys there. And the user gets the pick with Shays here. There we go. So, a nice little start to the first drive. If he's going to run switch routes, it doesn't have the quarterback to throw it deep or the uh, really play. So, I'm going to run corner routes. And Antonio Brown dropping the ball. What's up with that, man? Like, there are some games where he just doesn't drop the ball. I wonder if, like, there's variable things. Oh, nice catch there with the possession catch. Uh, where some games he's just unstoppable and other games he just stopped. Oh, Blount. Damn, running him over. And away. So we run back with a corner route, and there we are again. But what was that? Mr. Michael Vick. Michael, very disappointed in you. Heinz Ward catches the ball. Didn't really, uh, couldn't find much open at that time. But So we went underneath, and uh, we'll take the three points. You know, get on the board first. So I was going to get the first points, right? Dictating the game. All right, chug it deep again, and sack. You want to roll out? I'll just send, uh, oh, wait, what did I do? I sent five guys there. We got through. Nice little pressure there. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, with uh, vertical offenses, sending pressure and hitting a quarterback is really their um, kryptonite, I think is a good word for it. Like in the NFL, like the NFL used to be in like the 70s and whatnot until like the 80s, um, much more vertical passing. You know, there's still a lot of vertical passing. There was, uh, still is to this day, but 
what happens with vertical passing is that quarterbacks get hit. And quarterbacks are valuable. So quarterbacks aren't valuable in Mutt because they don't get injured. There's Antonio Brown gets a touchdown to make it 12 nothing. So the fact they don't get injured means vertical offenses will rule the day because they have a more risk-reward portion. And the user's right there to knock it down. Nice work. Uh, there, there's more, you know, reward for the risk that you're going to take versus taking hits. As we get the concede the game and two more picks. Looks like we got some fast sacks there from Mr. Jones. I think we may have sent the gap blitz there because we were frustrated at just three straight opponents of vertical offenses. So, low constitution. They quit. Let's pick a random name. 90 Ben Roethlisberger. Oh, my God. Terrible. What is this about? Another Roethlisberger 90. Very marginal upgrades. Two upgrades to his medium. Yeah, I'm going to get here to a, like 75 speed. This guy ain't going to touch the field either. Like, for, Sorry for you mobile users if you can't see that. Uh, throw power 90. So, yeah, it's nothing. So we'll just run another next one. Martavis Bryant. 90 overall. There's a good receiver. We've got a lot of good receivers, but he's 6'4", 95 speed. Great numbers. Those are just two numbers you love to see. So a little bit faster than Heinz Ward, 98. Faster than Antonio Brown. I don't know. I think this Bryant might be my number two now. Maybe move Mike Walls to three because 98 speed at the number three, the slot position is very valuable. So let's scroll down, compare him a little bit. Uh, jumping at 96 on Bryant. You know, this isn't even Bryant's top card yet. But yeah, I think he's better than Kachery. Better than, you know, obviously his earlier edition. He's 85 at 93 speed. I wonder what his... I wonder if Madden 17 is going to have a Martavis Bryant card. But yeah, I think uh, I'll move around my wide receiver core, see how I feel, uh, how I feel that I play it. Because Antonio Brown's been very good at the corners, but he has dropped a few passes lately. So I don't know. That's it for today. All the action. I'll see you tomorrow.